Okay, you're ready to start making your website your own by adding all of your words into the text boxes provided. But how do you start changing some of those fonts and how the heck do we link up our menu navigation to the right places? Well, let me show you how to change everything when it comes to your text on your website. Hi, and welcome back. My name is Carissa, and I am dedicated to giving you the tools to have a killer website on Show It. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what you need to do to edit and insert all of your text into your website quickly and easily so that you can get that gorgeous website published already in just a matter of days or hours if you are really committed. First, we'll go over how to add a text box. And actually, this is really pretty easy. At the bottom middle of the screen, just hit the option on the left to add a text box to the canvas. You can choose which text style you want. So like a title, heading, subheading, or a paragraph. And you'll see that text box appear on your canvas. Now you wanna make sure that these text styles are set up the way that you want them to help save yourself some time later. This will also help you maintain your brand consistency and I explain all about how to do this and set it up in a couple videos back. Now you might wanna edit an individual text box. To do this, just click inside that text box and then head on over to the text styles on the right editing panel. If you don't see this specific menu, just click the top tab to open it up. You'll notice that there's a tab both for desktop and another for mobile. Anything that you edit within this textiles panel will edit separately between the two, as long as you see both the desktop and mobile tabs. So it's really important to make sure that you edit both the mobile and the desktop versions separately, especially to make sure that they look the way that you want them. First of all, if you decide that you want this text to appear, let's say the title style instead, you can simply switch that out here. Next, you'll see that you can change the color of the text to one of your preset global colors, or you can set a new one by moving your cursor around or just by typing in a specific hex code here. Next, when you drop down the font menu, you'll see all of your designs preloaded fonts to choose from. Then of course, you can change the size by clicking these arrows up or down, or just by typing in the size that you want it to be. Line height refers to how much room is in between each individual line of text. So in most cases, this is a setting that you adjust on your paragraph text boxes. The letter spacing is the amount of room between each letter itself. So you see as we increase the letter spacing, you'll notice the letters spread further and further apart. Letter case adjusts the text to appear either normal, just as it's been typed, or all uppercase, all lowercase, or title case, where the first letter of each word has been capitalized. Alignment adjusts whether the text aligns in the left, in the center, to the right, or justified. And finally, the overflow tells the text what to do when the text box is smaller than the amount of text that's inside it. So if I drag this text box smaller, you see the words still show up, and that's because the setting is set to display the text. So if instead we change it to crop, it will only show the text that is actually within that box. The single line will only show the very first line of the text and the single line with ellipsis will show that single line too, but also add the dot 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 at the end of it. So in most cases, you can imagine that we want this set to display the text, but you'll find it that as you dig deeper into the design of your website, you might come across areas where you'll have more limited room for text, such as maybe a blog title when it comes to your blog templates. So that might be a reason why you would want that text cropped up instead. Now, the way the show it works is you only allow one style per text box. So you can't change the color or the font of a single word or sentence within that text box itself. But you can make portions of the text within that text box bold or italicized. To do this, just make sure that you're double clicked into that text box, then highlight the text that you want bolded or italicized. You'll see the toolbar appear where you can just select the B or the I to alter the text accordingly, the bold or italicized. Now, when you see that toolbar show up, you may notice a few other options. This also gives you the option to add a link to just a single word or phrase or sentence within that text box. So just select the text that you wanna link up and then hit that chain icon in the toolbar. You'll see your options of where that link can send them. So just hit that drop down to select the link type. You have options of a page to send them to a certain canvas within the page that you're on, to the top of the page, a, a different URL that could be on your website or someone else's website. You can have them share it on social media. Um, an email will actually open up an email app that's preloaded with your email address to in the subject line. SMS or a text message, and then the phone number. Once you select that option, then just type in whatever other criteria that it asks for, depending on the one that you chose. And then you just choose whether or not you want that to open it up into a new window, and then hit save. Anything you change by using that little toolbar, so like the folding or italicizing or the links, 
that will adjust both in the desktop and mobile versions. So you see when I add this link, you'll see how it shows up in mobile as well. Now you can actually change how that link appears within the text box too. On the right editing panel, you'll see a portion titled inline links. Here, you can edit the color of the link text as well as whether or not it shows with an underline. Then you can change how it looks when someone hovers over the text as well. So whether you want it to stay the same or maybe you want it to change colors or appear with an underline. This is all done here and you can make it different on mobile than it is on desktop. Speaking of links, I wanna show you how you can add a link to a full text box. So like the main area where you're gonna to wanna to really focus on your links is the navigation menu. Basically, when you see that bar at the top of a website, when you click on the home button and it takes you home, all that is on show it is just a text box that's linked up to send them to that home page. And the way we do this is through what's called click action. So all you need to do is click on the text box that you want to link up then head down to click actions on the right. Here, you'll have the same link type options that you saw before, except the only difference is that this time, clicking anywhere in the box will send up to that link, not just the word or phrase that you selected. Now, just like anything else in Show It, you can drag and drop that text box to wherever you want it to be on your Show It website builder, and it'll appear that way in your browser. Now, the next thing you wanna do when customizing your website in Show It is adding all of your photos into the placeholders that are provided, and this will really make it your own. Hit that video on your screen right now to learn all there is to know about adding and editing photos within your Show It website, and I can't wait to catch you over there.